everybody. Don't click off. You're on the right channel. I'm the Easter Bunny, not the baking diva. You see, we have a little problem. She was going to make, just for you, these delicious carrot cake bars. But I didn't know it, and I ate all her carrots. I love carrots. She had to hop to the store to buy more. She should be back in a few minutes. So don't go away now. You won't want to miss the recipe. Oh, wait. I think I hear her now. I'm pretty sure I hear her now. Happy Easter, everyone. Toodles. Hi, everyone. I'm back from the store. The baking diva's here. And oh, that annoying Easter bunny. I can't believe it. I was making these delicious carrot cake bars for you with this mmm cream cheese swirling through them. And that darn rabbit ate all my carrots. So I shoot him away. I said, come back tomorrow on Easter. And if there's any carrots left, I'll have some for you. So he's gone for now. Um, so yes, tomorrow's Easter. And even though the cameraman and I are on lockdown in the house, uh, I still want to make some treats for us. And we're going to get in the car because I haven't been out in three and a half weeks. And we're just going to drive around in the car and uh, just probably drive by my kids and grandkids' houses and just leave something there for them. So uh, it wouldn't be Easter without that. And I know they look forward to it. So today, I wanted to run to the store and get more carrots, that bunny, because I want to make you carrot cake bars. Oh, are they delicious with cream cheese swirled through them. So I know you're all busy preparing for Easter, so why don't we get started now? All right, first thing you're going to do is preheat your oven to 350 degrees. Then you need an 8 inch by 8 inch pan. You're going to spray it with a non-stick spray and then you're going to put a piece of parchment paper over that. You're going to need a mixer. You can use a hand mixer or I have my handy dandy KitchenAid here that I'm going to use. Alright, the first thing we're going to need is, and I'll put the recipe down below in the description box for all of you like I always do, we're going to need, um, first of all, a half a cup of melted butter. So I melted mine in the microwave. Alrighty. That over here. And we're going to need one cup of light brown sugar. So let me put that in there. Alrighty. And now we're just going to combine those two things together. Okay. We just want to mix the melted butter and the light brown sugar just until they're mixed and they're combined. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to stir in one egg. And our vanilla extract. So let me put that in. Alrighty. And we're going to mix all that together. Okie dokie, that was one tablespoon of vanilla extract. Now we're going to add in our flour. We have one cup of all-purpose flour. We're going to put in our cinnamon. Let me get my notes here. And that is... Um, one teaspoon of cinnamon. Don't you just love cinnamon? Mmm, it's good for you too. And we're also going to add in, let's see here, we're going to add in our flour, our cinnamon, our baking powder. And that's one quarter of a teaspoon of baking powder. And we're going to put in our quarter of a teaspoon of salt. 
and we're going to get that all mixed up. I thought carrot cake bars were perfect for Easter. It's Easter. Bunnies like carrots, right? goodness off of here and then I'm going to fold in one cup of shredded carrots so I have them over here I'm going to put them in and I'm going to by hand fold those babies in you can use a spoon or you can use your spatula whatever you like oh looking good looking good so what's everybody having for Easter? Normally we have a ham, but it's just the cameraman and I, so we're not gonna make a whole, a whole ham just for ourselves. So I'm not really sure what we're gonna do. We'll figure it out later. My grandsons all fight over my chocolate chip cookie recipe, so I'm gonna make some of those for them later. All right, so as you can see, this is very thick. You can see the carrots in. So I'm gonna put this bowl aside. Now you're gonna need another bowl to make your cream cheese mixture. So now we're gonna make our cheesecake filling. Mm -hmm. So we need four ounces of room temperature cream cheese. We need a quarter of a cup of granulated sugar. You wanna put in there one large egg yolk. And we're gonna put in three quarters of a teaspoon of vanilla. Now, I'm gonna get my hand electric beater and I'm gonna mix this all up for you. And then when I have them mixed, I'll bring them both back over and I'll show you what we do next. All right, I'm mixing up with my hand mixer, my cheesecake filling. carrot cake uh, mixture in one bowl and we have our cheesecake mixture in the next bowl. So what I'm going to do now is take my 8 by 8 inch pan and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a layer of my carrot cake mix on the bottom but you're only going to use half of this mix. You're not going to use the entire mixture, just half of it. So let me get that out. Mmm. Good. Okay, let me spread that around the bottom of the pan, covering the entire pan. You might have to hold on to your parchment paper because it's on the non-stick uh, spray and it slides around. Alrighty, that looks good. Put a little bit more over there. Okay, so after you get that all spread onto the bottom of your pan, you're going to take half of your cream cheese mixture and you're going to put dollops on top of the cake batter, but you're not going to swirl them around. You're just going to leave them like that. So we're going to put little dollops on top of there. Mmm. Can you just taste it now? Carrot cake with cream cheese. Mm-mm, good. Get that on there, those little dollops. Okay. I'm going to use about half of that cream cheese mixture. Dokey. All right. I'll hold that up, show you what it looks like. I got about nine dollops on there. All right, now we're going to take the remaining carrot cake batter, 
We're going to put it on the top of these dollops of these dollops of cream cheese. So I'll get this part done off camera and then I'll be back to show you what we did next. Second layer of the cake batter on here. I'm gonna spread that around on top of those dollops of cream cheese. Oh yeah. Mm -mm. Okay, so that's your second layer of cake batter. Now we're gonna put our remaining cream cheese on top of this. We're gonna do dollops again at first. Let me put that on. And then after I get all of this lusciousness on there, you can use either a knife or a skewer, and we're going to swirl that cream cheese in with the carrot cake batter. So I'm going to use this. I'm going to swirl the two batters. I'm going to swirl the two batters together. You can tell I've been in the house too long. All right, let's swirl these together. There you go. Just like if you were making a marble cake. Just swirl them together. There you go. Okay. I'll hold this up. As you can see, I swirled them together. So you have your layer of carrot cake batter. You have your dollops of cream cheese. You have another layer of carrot cake batter. And then you have more dollops of cream cheese that you swirled in there, you know, with your knife. So now this baby is going to go in the oven for 35 to 40 minutes until the edges are golden brown. Uh, there should be very little jiggle in the center and they have to cool completely before we cut them. So when they're cool, I'll be back, we'll cut them, and we'll do a taste testing. So stay tuned. Alrighty, the carrot cake bars came out of the oven. I baked them for 25 minutes, and you need to definitely let them cool before you try to cut them. Now this recipe yields nine bars. I um, got a few more because I cut them smaller. So it's up to you, but they're very moist and um, you're probably better off. I piled them on top of one another for the picture, but I would leave them in a single layer just so they don't stick to each other. So I'm gonna give one a taste testing right now. But before I do, I just wanna remind you that if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, go down below and smash that red subscribe and the little bell next to it. When you press that bell twice, I think it comes up and it says all. And then you won't miss any of the new videos I have coming up. So let me taste this baby now. See if I like it. Mmm. Mmm. No. I don't like it. I love it! <laughs> it's really good. It's very moist, and I like moist cake. Mmm, it's got those fresh carrots in it. Spices, but it's not too spicy. Mmm. Mmm, look at that. Got that cheesecake running through it. Very good. Two thumbs up on this one. So anyway, excuse me for talking with food in my mouth. The cameraman who's over there. Hi, cameraman. Hi, Diva. And moi, we want to wish everyone a healthy, happy, and safe Easter. Um, I will see you very soon. Make these. They're yummy. Mm-mm, good. So for now, until next time, doo-doo!